In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome text blur animation right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first want to begin by creating a brand new title. So as always, we'll go into File, New, Legacy Title, and we'll press OK on this window. And then once you're inside of the legacy title window, we can go in to the black video, select anywhere that you want, and just type out a word of your choice. Now I'm going to do Brooker. I'm going to highlight all of that. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change the weight of that, the size. I'm going to add a little bit of kerning. And this is quite important, actually. We need to make sure we've got enough space for some masking later on, so make sure that your text doesn't sit together like this. Make sure there's a definite gap between all of the letters. This is really going to help later on. So if you can't find that, that is the VA button. It's the kerning button and it's next to the font size. So once you've increased the kerning, you just want to center that up and we'll just exit the legacy title window. Now we'll drop that title onto our sequence so from here, we need to separate the word that you've just created into different layers and you want a different layer for each different letter. So as you can see, I've got the word Brooker and that is B-R-O-O-K-E-R. -O -O That's seven letters, which means I need seven layers, which means I need to copy this title six more times. So we'll just pull down this track here. And there's two ways you can do this. You can select the title, hold Command C or Control C and then just paste it in as many times as you want and then just stack them all on top of each other. Or alternatively, this is the option that I prefer. Hold option on your keyboard, select the title, drag the title up and then let go of option. And that will make a copy of that title on the video layer above. So we've got two, we need to do five more. Three, four, five, six, and last but not least, we've got seven. So seven letters, seven title layers. Of course, if you've got a different word, if you've got a shorter word, a longer word, you'll have a different amount of layers, but just understand that you need a different layer for each individual letter. This is super important. Now from here, we're gonna to go to video one. So that is our first title, the original title. We'll go over to opacity and we'll select the free draw bezier tool or the mask tool as you probably know it if you've done some work in After Effects or Photoshop. So we'll select that. We're just gonna zoom in to our title just a little bit. Now from here, I'm just gonna create a mask. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around that first letter. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle around the B. That's not the best example, but that would do. Now I'm just gonna decrease the mask feathering. The feathering is going to expand the mask out a little bit and it might just catch the R. So I'm just gonna pull that down to zero. By default, it will be set to 10. So just make sure you pull this down to zero. And now from here, we can just keep repeating the same process for every single letter. So we've got R, pull the feathering down. There we go. So every single letter is now separated into its own layer. This means if I turn off a specific layer, let's say I turn off video layer four, only one letter is going to disappear. And that is exactly what we need to do to do this effect. So from here, we're gonna go into effects and search for directional blur. And that should be in blur and sharpen. We're gonna drop that on to video layer one. So that is our first title, the B. We'll pull our cursor all the way back to the beginning at zero seconds. We'll go over to the left of Premiere and we can see we've got directional blur. Now, if you increase the blur length, the B has gone blurry. Now, as you can see, it's stretched upwards and that is because the direction is set to zero degrees. If we move up to zero in the direction, if we rotate that to 90, it is now blurring from left to right. So of course, this is completely up to you, depending on which way you want this to animate in, but I'm just gonna leave that at zero for now. So making sure that's at the very beginning, I'm gonna pull the blur length all the way up to around 25, 26. We're gonna create a brand new keyframe on the blur length. So we'll select the stopwatch icon and we'll move to the right by six frames. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and then we'll pull the blur length all the way down to zero. And there you go. If we play that back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this really nice blur in on that B. Cool, so from here, we want to select directional blur. We're gonna hold Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. Alternatively, you can right click and select copy, and that's going to copy the directional blur effect. Now you want to select all of your other video layers except for the one that you just did the effect on and you want to paste that onto all of those layers. So the keyboard shortcut is Command V or Control V. And as you can see, they all blur on at the exact same time. That's not the effect that we're going for. We want to stagger them on so it goes B, R, O, O and they come on at slightly different times. So we'll go to the beginning. We'll zoom in a little bit and then we're going to move to the right by three frames. One, two, three and we'll move all of the layers over to the cursor. Now we'll move another three, one, two, three, and we'll pull everything except for one and two over to the cursor. One, two, three again, and we'll pull everything except for one, two, and three. You get the idea, we're just gonna move three frames every time and shift everything over by three frames. Now, if we play this back, we're gonna see we've got this really awesome text animation. So now if we zoom back out, we play that back from the very beginning. There you go, that looks really nice. Now from here, we're just gonna do one more thing just to add a little bit of extra something to this effect. We're gonna select all of those layers. We're gonna right click, go up to nest. We can rename this if we want, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna bother, we'll just press okay. We're gonna go to the very beginning We'll go to motion and select scale and then we'll press the toggle animation button. So we're gonna create a new keyframe. We're gonna to move towards the end of the animation, go past it a little bit and we'll increase the scale to 105. Now when we play this back, we've got the effect coming in and there is a very nice subtle push in. And there you go, that is the directional blur text transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. See you there.